North Carolina State University is renowned for its College of Design, which has created a lasting legacy of modernist houses throughout the state. But many of those homes built in the 50s and 60s are in desperate need of restoration. Kelly McHenry introduces us to a group trying to save them from the wrecking ball. Those who love modernist architecture say these houses are more than just homes. They're works of art designed to inspire. It's the effect of space on the person. We know this from our religious experiences when we go into a church or synagogue or mosque, but most people don't realize you can have this in your house as well. George Smart is founder of North Carolina Modernist Houses, a group dedicated to rescuing classic modernist homes from the bulldozer. Many were built in the 50s and 60s near the campus of North Carolina State University, thanks to the first dean of the renowned School of Design. In 1948, NC State wanted to have a state-of-the-art architecture school and they recruited Henry Camp Hefner, an avowed modernist architect and dean at the University of Oklahoma, to come out and start the school. And at that time he brought not only students with him who were in his program, but he also brought faculty from across the world. And it was the go-to place for design students. Camp Hefner designed a number of homes in North Carolina and encouraged faculty and students to do the same. That effort gave North Carolina the third largest concentration of modernist houses in the country. All of them incorporate modernist design, lots of windows and natural light, flat or sloping roofs, and a feeling of bringing nature indoors. And modernist homes were environmentally friendly before we ever heard the word sustainable. Smart built his own modernist home in Durham using the same techniques. We never have to turn on a light during the day because of the passive solar and the different windows. Uh, the double insulated windows are part of it. But as these historic modernist homes continue to age, more and more of them face the wrecking ball. Smart launched a website to document the houses and their architects and to recruit people to help preserve them. The enemy of modernist houses are not the developers who come along and do something else. The real enemy is vacancy. When a house becomes vacant, that's when we try to get involved. We work right away to get a new renter or a new owner, because if a house is occupied, it will last longer. That includes office buildings, such as this structure on Glenwood Avenue in Raleigh, designed by G. Milton Small in the 60s. Back then, it earned praise from the New York Times for its taste and good design. But it's now vacant and developers plan to tear it down and build a newer, bigger, lead certified building in its place. Smart's group is working to save that building and others to preserve the legacy of modernist architecture in North Carolina. They qualify for certain historic uh, registry status, um, but a lot of them, we've lost the history. And our website chronicles everything about a house. Uh, when it was created, who the architect was, who built it, who's owned it since then, pictures of it across time, so that owners and realtors can really understand what they have, because often that information is missing. Once they understand what they have, the houses are easier to resell, to restore. Smart's organization is also helping the next generation of architects. Here at Rollsville High School, some drafting students received free computers from the group, loaded with the industry software standard. AutoCAD. One of the problems in rural North Carolina is that up to 60 percent of the students don't have computers at home, which means that they don't have enough time to practice the CAD, computer-aided design, at their school. So we've given away about 50 CAD systems this year to these students. They get to take them home, they get to keep them forever, they get the time that they need to practice CAD and develop their portfolios should they pursue a design career. So the most we're allowed to have is 1,800. Mm -hmm. So we need to find a way to make all those rooms that you have there fit in a smaller, more compact floor plan. Their teacher says the program has been a huge success. I could identify which students needed these computers at home. And once we figured that out and they took them home, I could start giving assignments for them to do for homework because it's a lot. They're designing a, a modern house and you know we only have so much time in school and so now they can do some work at home as well. The student with the winning design earns a free scholarship to NC State's design camp in the summer.
And they're so excited for this competition. They want to compete with other students. I think it's great. <laughs> it's very exciting. They're very enthusiastic about it. With an average salary above $70,000 a year, architecture offers good jobs with good pay. And Barthelmess says the free computers are giving these students a huge leg up in preparing for a job in design. Well, it helps them get together a portfolio, which is very important these days to get in, um, just to give yourself that extra edge that and the passion behind it and knowing um, information about it. North Carolina, with its southern traditions, may seem like an unusual place for such historic modernist architecture. But our state has always shown a knack for achieving greatness, whether it's the Wright Brothers Historic Flight, the world-renowned Research Triangle Park, or cutting-edge university research. Modernist architecture is simply another in the long list of North Carolina's historic accomplishments, and advocates are confident that modernist design will continue to inspire us for generations to come. The modernist style is really about three things. It's about uh, the structure, it's about the scale, and it's about the space. And once you start playing with those variables, you can come home to a house that really feels relaxing, a home that you want to stay in, a home that you really come to love. 